Parents are weighing options for their kids ahead of the new school year, but ultimately, it is those students who will have to live with those decisions. News 6's Jerry Askin went to speak to some students today about the upcoming school year. He joins us now live in Orlando. And Jerry, it's so good to hear from these kids. How are they feeling about the new school year? Ginger, yeah, you know, today many kids I talked to here at the downtown rec center from the Paramore Kids Zone told me they have mixed opinions about this whole thing. They aren't really opposed to going fully online, but they really do miss their teachers and they miss their friends, of course. And right now, their biggest thing, they want to make sure they're safe. <laughs> Playing basketball this summer here at the downtown Orlando Rec Center has brought some relief for 14-year-old Andrew Carbon and his sister, 12-year-old Anaya, amid the COVID-19 pandemic. I never thought I would go through this. And they admit things now are so different. It's weird, basically. And right now, as schools are set to begin next month, their first priority is safety. A risk of going to school, not knowing who has COVID and who don't have it. Now, as parents in Orange County have until Friday to decide which option their kids will learn come fall. If it was my choice, I would probably stay home. Andrew and his sister Anaya shared with me a few pros and cons of learning online. You can't ask your teachers that more questions as you would inside a class because you're not right there in front of them. We could get the same education online as in school, but you're getting more education online because they're putting more work online than they give you at school. Yeah, and today, as you mentioned, Ginger, good to hear their viewpoints. Now, right now, you can read for yourself more about the options available for schools all across Central Florida right now at ClickOrlando.com. We're live here in downtown Orlando, Orange County. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results. News 6.